How's it going guys? Today we've got a fascinating update in the world of technology and video editing. So right here I have my 15 inch MacBook Pro and right here I have an 11 inch iPad Pro. And what would you say if I told you you could edit with no limitations in Final Cut Pro on an iPad? Well, it's true. Now this is where the technology really gets fascinating. So both of these are running the second version of the public beta of their new softwares. This is running the iPadOS and this is macOS Catalina. And this will only work if they're both at least on the second version of the public betas. All right, let's get started. So after you download and install the beta software, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is open Final Cut on your Mac then go over to AirPlay where you would normally share your screen with an Apple TV or another device and you'll see it pops up with your iPad. So you just click on that and boom, you're now using your iPad as an external display. But wait, there's more. Now with like an Apple TV or an external monitor, it's just an extra screen which is really beneficial. But if you take your Apple Pencil and touch it on the screen, you can literally edit in Final Cut Pro with zero limitations and almost zero lag directly off your computer. So this means I have this external four terabyte Lacey drive that is connecting to the computer and all of that information that you would normally edit on your computer is being airplayed basically, it's called sidecar, but it's being sent to your iPad and you're able to fully edit with a touch screen with no wires whatsoever connecting this or to power or anything, you can just have your computer on your desk, sit back on the couch and edit just like you would be on your computer, but with a touchscreen on an iPad. I don't know if this is just me, but this is truly fascinating and really revolutionary in the world of video editing. I cannot wait to start using this sidecar feature. It's got so much potential and it's just such a powerful tool that really takes two mostly disconnected devices that Apple creates and brings them into one. If you see on the iPad here at the bottom, it has a kind of like touch bar and this will actually pop up even if your MacBook does not have a touch bar. It will show up with a touch bar on your iPad. You'll see that on the bottom, which is great for all those features because the keyboard folio that comes with the iPad does not have function keys. So that really adds some extra beneficial value right there. Also on the left side, you have a bunch of your standard features that make life just a little bit easier, such as command option, control shift, back arrow, and opening up the keyboard. So you don't even need this keyboard folio. You could just pop off the iPad just like this and edit in full Final Cut Pro with zero limitations, almost zero lag, just like this. Holy cow. Now this works with more applications than just Final Cut Pro. It actually works with literally any application that you can open on your MacBook. I'm just using Final Cut Pro in this video because it's an application I really love and just the thought of editing in Final Cut on an iPad with no wires or nothing attached just natively like this, that is just absolutely unheard of. All right, that's it for this video. If you're wondering, this entire video that you're watching right now was edited on the 11 inch iPad Pro. That's right. That's it, thank you for watching and I think my life is now complete or at least in terms of video editing. And as always, don't forget to keep it pro.